Georgia is not messing around. And as much as we're looking, I know that sounds like a general statement. Sure. But realistically, you got to look at what they did today when they crushed South Carolina, and you got to say that's a statement. When you look at Georgia, the number three team in the country, I can't find a large line that separates Alabama, Clemson, or Georgia at this point. Georgia is equally as deserving of being considered the number one team in the country today as any other school. In the I don't country. think there's a question about it. And again, I'm fully admitting my hometown bias. That's just what it is. But there is something to be said for the run game that they have, their ability to kind of still put it together defensively against the South Carolina team that may not be all that efficient offensively, but they're still showing up. Despite Despite losing key players like Roquan Smith at the linebacker position, right? They're still finding a way to re-up the same way we talk about with Ohio State being able to do so. The same way we talk about Alabama being able to do so. They're doing things and still competing, competing at a very high level that allows us to believe in them as a national championship contender once again. And by the way, Jake Fromm ain't doing too bad at the quarterback position either. So so long as he continues to play well, keep holding his own, he gets the weapons to keep continue contributing around him, I don't see anything stopping from Georgia entering that playoff almost. Again. And I mean, uh, this this will stick out to me. Okay, earlier today I went on ESPN Radio, uh, College Game Day. I was yep. hanging out with the guys on College Game Day and uh, talking about this show. Yep. Telling everybody to tune in. Shout out to the plug. And uh, we talked about this game. And some of the smartest minds in college football were generally, genuinely split on it. Mm. There was a conversation about, look, we are sleeping on what South Carolina is going to be able yep. to accomplish offensively. They're going to be able to pick up yards. We have to remember that at this point, Georgia has three things going for them. They've got a defense that's fast and attacks. Absolutely. They've got a running game that is stellar. And they have the ability to get chunk yardage plays, big plays in quick spurts. That is something that separates them from everybody else right now because we've seen all three phases. We're seeing all three phases against a quality opponent. You have to throw your hands up and say, Georgia, is, is they look like a national championship caliber football team. Yeah, and I think there is something to be said about filling out the rest of that bracket. But when you're looking at the SEC West and East as in its totality, you're looking at potentially three teams out of the SEC that can fall, find themselves in this playoff conversation off rip in Georgia, Bama, obviously, but Auburn low-key is trying to sneak into that conversation so long as they keep performing the way that they are. And why is Auburn even low-key? I mean, look, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, my conference is better than your conference is the equivalent of my dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knows who's really right. To do that. You can never, no, my, no, my dad's scrum. Like, my dad's built like I am. Like, <laughs> don't take out your pops. You're taking out everybody. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Why I'm ruthless here. No, no, I'm just, I'm just honest. I'm brutally honest. Look, I, so I'm not here for the, the, the conference debate. But there's so much hype going into the Big Ten East specifically. No doubt. And the Big Ten overall, the top of the Big Ten and how great it looks. We have seen definitively that the top of the SEC with Georgia, with Auburn, with Alabama is going to be incredible. Yes. So it, that that's a piece where you have to look top top versus top. Just the toppings on the Sunday, the toppings on the Sunday of the SEC to me right now are better than the toppings on the Sunday in the Big Ten. You got the maraschino cherry going there.